Are you looking for an anti-aging regime that is not going to break the bank? I've got you covered. So I recently tried microneedling with a pen. Now, if you have seen other videos on my channel, you will see that I have tried uh, Silfirm X, I've tried IPL, I've tried dermaplaning, I've tried a few things. Uh, for me, I don't want to go the Botox route. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just not something that I want to do. So I'm always looking for different types of facials or procedures that are not super, super invasive that can make a difference to my skin. So I recently tried microneedling with a pen. And I'll tell you what, I love the results and it did not break the bank. I'll show you now. Yeah, totally. Is this okay? Yeah. We'll get it over there. I don't know if it's okay. Is this okay? There you go. Mm -hmm. So I've just come back from getting the microneedling pen done. Um, and a little bit different because I was used to getting the Silphrom X done, which is the radio frequency. So the difference between the two is that the radio frequency Silphrom X um, is it penetrates deeper into your skin, so they say, um, and that uh, it's more long lasting results. Uh, with the pen, it doesn't um, go as deep and there's no radio frequency with it. Um, but yeah, as far as pain goes, this was way less painful than the Silphrom X microneedling. Um, the pen was just easy. I could just lie there and it wasn't a problem at all. Uh, so anyways, let's take a look here. Obviously I've kind of got like a thick layer of cream on and it's a little bit red. Um, but yeah, it was a lot easier the Silphrom X and the Silphrom X is $800 a pop and this was $150 a pop Canadian dollars. So anyways, I'll show you guys what my face looks like tomorrow. Good morning. So it is the day after I've had the microneedling done with the pen. And uh, here is what my face looks like. It's still a little bit red. And definitely puffier uh, than it was with the Silphrom X. But maybe that's good. Maybe it's just boosting all that collagen in there. All right. I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, morning. It is day two after I've had my microneedling pen done and um, my face feels really good. Um, there's maybe still just a little bit um, on my nose there, a little bit of red from the needles, but uh, no, it feels really smooth and uh, I'm happy with the results. I will likely stick with this because at the price point of the Silver Max, um, and the price point of this, it is a huge gap and I feel like my skin looks really nice. Um, maybe you do go a little bit deeper with the Silver Max, but it's a lot more invasive and it's a lot more painful. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the microneedling pen and uh, I think I'll probably continue on with this. She recommends doing it like three to four times every year. So you'll go like say you start in January, uh, probably better to start in the winter when you're not out in the sun. Uh, Cause you do have to, well, you should be protecting your, your face from the sun all the time anyways. But so you would, you know, say you'd start in January, you'd go January, 
um, and then wait a month and then go February, March, April. So you're doing it four times a year uh, and then you don't need to do it again until the following year. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the results. I'll probably stick with this and it's a lot less painful than some of the other procedures that I've tried. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Okay, thanks so much you guys. Have a good one.